Oh! 
and guides us in all the ways of the truth, Chuck. Amen, brother. Come on. I tell you, without, without the Spirit of God, you know, I don't see how people can make it today. But you know, I'm glad that Jesus is coming. He's coming soon. And I hope and pray that you're ready. This is the song here <clears throat> that, uh, that I sung many, many, many years ago. And uh, you know, to go to heaven... We're going to have obstacles, you know, to come toward us and stop us and, you know, try to hinder us from making heaven our home. But uh, I'm glad the Lord said He would never leave us nor forsake us, but He'd go with us all the way to the ends of this world. Here the song simply says to go to heaven. <laughs>
in. Okay, oh. yeah, I messed up. Yeah. <clears throat> I tell you what, let me change these mic because it's it, that is popping. So <coughs> you sing in harmony, it don't pop. I know. But when you sing it, it's gonna pop. I might have to change the key on that. Oh, okay. Let me set this back over here. Oh. I knew when I started that one. <coughs> I didn't know what to do, but just go on with it. That's all we can do, buddy. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to come back and you start talking. Tell <coughs> me when you're ready to talk. And, you, and that, now you're going to do another song. If you can't, if you were trying to do all your songs, you know, while you're sitting there, you know, you uh, do all the one, that way we might move that mic back forward. Who, mine? Yeah. Let's go ahead and just go and do all your songs. Uh, hold on one second. Y'all still do a little testimonial thing. Call, 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 call. That's going to gonna really be going to like that. Okay. And a little bit, we're going to let him talk now. Okay. He gonna, we're going to put him on the mic, let him say, let's give a little testimony. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But tell me when you're ready. All right, me and Chuck will be talking. I mean, you just go ahead. We're gonna, I'm going to do save, save, save. Y'all just, whatever the good Lord wants you to say, you know, just lay it on your heart. Okay. Let it go. All right, go ahead. Say, a hundred years from now, people say, well, Lord, I wish I could have known them people. That's right. Well, that's right. What's he for today? Let's go out there and put some flowers on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> no me, they're going to come out there and use a basketball mic. <laughs> <laughs> you got the toilet paper, honey. You got the toilet paper. Yeah, where's the name? I'm going to get the toilet paper and just set you in there and get on the grass. Yeah, no. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, put the carpet on my mind. Put the carpet on my mind. Put the carpet on my mind. Y'all right, let me know when you're ready to talk now. Okay, I'm ready. All right, this will be track six now. All right. You know, Brother Chuck, Come on. I've never done a live recording before. I ain't uh, new. You know, but, you know, I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, enjoying been. it a little bit. Fun. And I hope y'all are having a little fun with us. Because, uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just an old amateur on this old guitar, just trying my best to play, do something for the Lord, and uh, and I guess he's up there. You know, he's probably stomping his feet. You know, making making a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. That's right. That's Psalm 100. You know, <laughs> That's right. speaking of the joyful noise. You know, it's Psalm 100, verse right. one. That's right. It says to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's right. For, for that days on on earth shall be longer. So the only way to make a joyful noise, you got to get out here and praise His holy name. That's right. You got to get out here and make everything in harmony. That's if you right. don't do it harmonizing, you know it's going to sound terrible. That's right. So we got to do our best to make it sound good, you know. Amen. And you know, when you raise His holy name and you walk inside of a church, shout it out. Praise God. That's there it. you go. Praise God, you know. Bring Him up. That's Amen. Right. Don't be scared about it. That's Bring right. it up. Right. You know. Amen. You know. We, yeah, that's right. You know. You, you know, I'm not going to be called, I'm not going to be called a guy that said, when God comes up and says, are, are you worthy for me to come save you? I'm going to be worthy. I'm not the unworthy. He oh. died for me on the cross at Calvary. That's right. He resurrected himself in three days and took the keys from the devil. That's in right. three days, he come back up. That's right. And so now I am saved. Amen. And you know, Terry, you wrote a song here a while back called Save, Save, Save. No, I didn't write this one, Chuck. Well, I didn't write this in my you know, old Dallas home. I don't know if you uh, if you knew him. Uh, he uh, he was a good good contemporary artist, and uh, I got this song off of his tracks. And uh, but I wanna I wanna sing it for the crowd today. And uh, hey, if you out there, clap your hands, clap your hands, and make a joyful noise. That's what we're doing here with our instruments. Hey, they might not be sounding good, but hey, we're doing it for God. Amen. So listen to the words of this song. It says, Save, Save, Save.
died. I'm glad, you know. That's right. Amen. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. That's, that's right. That's the only way. The only way. Uh, Mike? Yeah, yeah, talk to Mike a little bit. Let me... Yeah. Yeah, brother Mike. What's, what's been going on in your way? You're making a little brother. No. <laughs> Which way? Oh, Mike's a good missionary. <laughs> yeah, he goes to uh, like Tennessee and Kentucky, you know. Yeah, I've been doing a little mission work in Kentucky the last 15 years or so. Now I get up there, it's a story in itself. Uh, I was slave until I was about 10 years old, but the Mountain Springs Baptist Church up in Piedmont. All right. Moved to Belton in 1962, got away from God, got backslidden on him, went in the military, and got in all kinds of stuff. Uh -huh. Got back home, got married, had a child, and uh, uh, I unfortunately had a gotten divorce. But anyway, he, uh, one, uh, one day he was riding his motorcycle and he hit a car and he killed him. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, the Lord really spoke to my heart and I said, Lord, you know, why did you let this happen? And, uh, of course, he didn't say anything, but what he did tell me, he said, Mike, I ain't satisfied with you. Right. I said, Lord, I know you're not. Come on, so man. I asked him to, uh, to forgive me. I repented of my sin and asked him to forgive my uh, sin and shortcoming and yeah. Lord, what would you, you have me go? What would you have me do? Well, two years to the very day he died, I was in uh, a country over in uh, Europe between beside Romania called Moldova. It's a little farming country, real poor country. Uh -huh. And uh, riding in the back of the car, uh, Rick Baldwin, who was a pastor up at uh, church up here in the country up here, I think uh, it's, uh, I can remember the name of it. But anyway, uh, he told me, Mike, I want you to share it this the school, a senior high school. Well, my came to the preacher. I said, now, Lord, what in the world are you going to be telling me? He said, don't worry, I'll tell you. Right. Well, come on now. when time comes to stand up and, and, and preach the word, well, he gave it to me. I sat down. A friend of mine sat beside me was Charles Scrooge, which passed on a year before last and went on with the Lord. He said, I think you did a pretty good job. I said, Harold, I could tell you ten words. I said, I did some old Jesus. It ain't me. I couldn't. That's I right. That's it. right. But anyway, hundreds of children, they asked them to stand up and they had, it was interpreted in Moldova and in Russian, and I was speaking in English. And, and anyway, hundreds of kids stood up. But it wasn't me, it was the power of God going out through His Word. His Word was a power. Amen. Right. 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 Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for that. We have a copy of the Bible, as many countries don't, many places that, and you know, well as I do, that missionaries to take the Bible, if they catch them, they're going to kill them. Uh -huh. So I yeah. pray the Lord to protect those people because if we're so complacent and so lazy here in this country. You know, I appreciate it. I love this country. I served in the military like many of you did. Thank you. But Thank we got to, Thank you for your time. We got to uh, That's right. Thank uh, we got to really appreciate what we have. You know, we yeah. Amen. Are, Amen, we're really That's blessed right. in so many ways. So I thank the Lord for that. Yeah, he's blessed us in so many ways. Thank you for that. let me play these old drones or try to to uh, honor and glorify his name. That's all I want to do. So uh, I just think well, tell the folks getting... how long. Tell the folks how long you've been playing drums. Oh well, I I played them back in the '60s and I tried to bang around on them and quit for about 40 years and about I don't know five to six years ago maybe a little longer. Yeah. I Lord just put on my heart one day to uh, to start playing again. I said, Well, Lord, you know I ain't got no money to buy no drums. Right. And I told him to come along this road over about a mile from where I live in Belton there, and on the side of the road was a set of pearl drums sitting that somebody had discarded. Well, I got them and put them in my truck. I said, okay, Lord, you've answered, answered that prayer. Now you're going to make a way for me to get some symbols and fix these things. Well, he did. Now, days, I got a ministry now where I give churches drum sets, and I give young drummers and people in churches uh, symbols you and go. different things. Yeah. And God's That's just right. blessed me so much. That's what it's all about. told me, said, what are you buying that for? You'll just give it away? I said, yeah, but you can't. You know, unless you give it away, God can't bless you. That's right. You that's right. Come on, they can bring it in, fight your name, give it up. Come yeah. on, that's right. So there I thank know. you for that opportunity that I have to do that, to, to pass along to these young guys that are real good drummers. I'm just a so-so, but they're oh, really good, good at uh, no. play and uh, make music that, that's right. that lifts up the name of Jesus where people can sing and enjoy their salvation. And I thank for God that we have salvation to Jesus. Yeah, amen. And amen. I just thank you for and to just let me be alive. You know, I, I was talking to one of my friends the other day that, hey, I'm the only person in my family, the only man that's lived to retire. That's right. Uh, I said, well, Grandpa died at 51 and my daddy at 57. I'm 66. 
So the Lord still got a little something for me to do, and I just pray that you'll pray for me because the Lord right. knows I need it. <laughs> you know, there, you know, would you say that right there? You know, if I hadn't got my got caught for that DUI and that DUCS in Greenville in 2011, yeah, you know, I would have killed somebody or myself. Yeah, I was so strung out on fifteen hundred dollars on heroin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we drunk a gallon of whiskey that same night. I was moving to Georgia man. to get oh, away from my ex-wife. Well, it, it, it's amazing how God protects us. On you, I, I can testify. You know, you've heard the old saying, "God protects fools and drunks." Yeah, well, that's well. true because I've been both of them. We all have. You know, I, I thank the Lord that I'm alive today because I almost got killed when I was in the Navy. I didn't really tell my mom and daddy about it, but I almost did. I almost got blown off a flight deck. I was in Saratoga over in, uh, right. in uh, the last of the Vietnam War. I almost got blown off a flight deck by a plane that was launching one day. And, but, you know, that didn't get my attention. But when my son was killed, God got my attention. That's right. Did. 